What's going on everyone? Today it is April 24th and I'm gonna go after the first spawning bass of the year. Woo! I'm excited, man. Over the past week I've been keeping a very close eye on my neighborhood ponds for spawning activity and I've seen it, man. I've seen, you know, a couple pairs here and there, a lone bass coming up, committing to a rocky area, cleaning it off, chasing bluegill, but none of them would go after my baits. Um, you know, I, like I said, I've seen it. I've gotten some pretty sick footage of it. but I haven't got any catches. So hopefully that's gonna change today with it being so nice out, sunny, 70 degrees. I went down and checked the front of the pond and there's a pair really close to the bank, really clear water right on a rock. Um, and they're protecting it hardcore against bluegill and all that stuff. So I think they're gonna be pretty, I think they're gonna be catchable. Um, and hopefully today we'll mark that first spawning bass of the year catch. And we're gonna record it all. So I'm gonna grab my rod, Go grab the GoPros and we're going to run down there and see if we can catch a bedded bass. And then after that, come back up, talk about my setup and the tricks I was using to catch that fish. So guys, stay tuned. It's going to be pretty interesting. Alrighty. So here's the two fish. I don't know if you guys can see that. They're moving off and the bedding area is all right in here. Um, I've been sitting here watching this bed for a while now. I mean, this rock right here where we're about to put the camera on is where this fish is sitting. So. Put the camera right there, go sit up in the shade, and hopefully we can catch this bed of fish. Give him a second, let him get used to that camera, and he should be A-OK -okay to fish. There he goes. All right, so both of them are moving back up onto that rock. Not sure which one's the female. I would assume it's the bigger one that's closer to the rock right now. Just aggressively shaking it, imitating a crawfish just feeding on his rock. There it goes, here it goes. Oh, he just came and swiped at it off the bed. Oh, okay, so this fish is for sure catchable. Oh my gosh, man. He just came and nicked it right off the corner of that bed. Let's see if we can get it right up closer to that camera. He sees it. Now you see a fishy. He's looking at it. So his sweet spot must be right on the right side of that rock. Right here. Yeah, that's, that's for sure it. We're gonna have to go move that camera. Alrighty, so what I just did there was relocated that GoPro um, for the sweet spot on where that nest is actually at. Um, and it looks like they've got, the sweet spot is just on this side of the rock as it falls. 
um, because when I get that bait in that spot, that fish just freaks out. He's going, he's going in right now. See, that's, that's where it's at right there. There we go. Yeah. There it is, man. That's how you bet fish. That is how you bet fish. Whew. That is how you bet fish, baby. That's it, man. Find the sweet spot and you work that fish until he gets so aggressive. Um, and with that, you know, that fish was taking small swipes. And so you gotta use a smaller pitching jig and that's exactly what I did and he came up and just freaking slammed it. It was a good fish. It's probably two and a half, three pound fish. That's what it's all about man. But when you are bed fishing, you've got to get a quick release. Um, because they've got to get back on that bed to protect. So good fish. Let's get this release. Well, I am back from that little bed fishing adventure and I had a ton of fun. I actually ended up catching embedded bass today. Um, that's the first one of the year. Super excited to do that because this warmer weather is going to bring more spawning fish. But right now I'm going to talk a little bit about my setup. Now the rod and reel combo that I was using today is by Abu Garcia. Um, the rod is a Veritas 2.0 micro guide system series rod. Um, the micro guide is basically a micro eyelet rod. Now, the micro eyelets help for less string slap, meaning a more accurate cast or pitch, whatever you're using that rod for. Um, and inside of this Vertos 2.0 is a spiral carbon core that goes all the way up to the tip of the rod, meaning a very sensitive rod and a strong backbone for good hook sets. So that is why this rod is one of my favorite ones to pitch with. And for the reel, I was using a Revo S low profile bait caster and beautiful, beautiful reel. It's like a pearl finish to it. And it's got an automatic braking system in it with a D2 gear system for reeling or cranking. And what that D2 gear system does is gives you a lot of power to pull bass out of thick cover. And that automatic braking system can help you for a more accurate pitch. Um, so I would honestly believe that this rod or this reel is specifically designed for pitching. That's what I use it for. This is my pitching setup and I love it. Now the line that I was using is a fluorocarbon line by Suffix. It's called Super 21. Now fluorocarbon normally stretches, but this Super 21 is actually less stretch um, or a line or fluorocarbon line that has less stretch. So when I'm pitching and I have to have a strong hook set and don't want that stress so I can hurry up and pull that bass out of thick cover. That's what this line is basically designed for. I love it. It's 17 pounds. I don't go any higher than that because I want to have more line on my rod. I trust this line. I've never had any break offs with it. Um, and so yeah, that is my setup. Now the bait that I was using is actually a pitching jig. Now that is one of the most common baits that people use when bed fishing. This is a Mike Iaconelli um, bomber jig, pretty sure, pitching bomb or something like that. They, Mike Iaconelli himself joined up with Molex and they made this bait right here or this jig head. And the trailer is a crawdad um, trailer. It's a called a Yum Crawl Chunk. And the color scheme is just crawdad. That's, it's a beautiful color. It's gray or green on top with an orange bottom. And that's basically, it matches that jig perfectly. I mean, it looks great. This is one of my favorite colors to throw um, in general, even when I'm bed fishing, when I'm fishing anywhere, this jig color is one of my favorites. So the other thing I want to talk about with that jig is 
This jig is very, very small. You guys saw I fished that bass for, I was fishing for that bass for a while. Um, he wasn't very aggressive. I don't know why. I think somebody's probably already fished that uh, bed or he probably hasn't fully spawned to where he's, you know, committed to that bed really hardcore. And, you know, that meant he wasn't biting the bait as hard. I had to find that sweet spot. And as soon as I did, I moved the GoPro to the right spot and started pitching there every time. Um, and finally, that one time he came up and just swiped at it really quick. Now, a lot of times when you are bed fishing or when that fish is locked onto a bed, he's not looking to feed. He's not looking to eat. He's just protecting his nest. And that is why it's good to use a smaller bait when you're bed fishing. Because if that fish decides to not fully eat that bait and just swipe at it and get it in its mouth, he's got the whole bait in his mouth, meaning you're going to get that hook set more than likely. Um, and that's basically what that jig head was. I'm pretty sure that is a uh, 1 8 ounce jig head. Um, so it's very light, but I was also fishing very shallow. So that was my setup. I love that rod and reel combo. I hope you guys enjoyed today. It wasn't much, I know, but I got to go to work and I didn't see any other bedded bass. But as the warmer weather moves in, we're going to start to see more spawning bass and you guys are going to get more videos like this. So I hope you enjoyed. Like the video. Don't forget to subscribe if you already haven't. And be sure to check out our social media pages. We're always posting about our videos, posting cool pictures, stuff like that. So be sure to follow us on there. And as always, guys, thanks for watching this episode of The Outdoorsman.